for the rep. We continue our division by division breakdown of the NFL as we order up. Order up, order up. This week, we are ordering up the NFC East. You were 2 and 2 last year. I was 1 and 3 last year. So we got to pick it up. We definitely got to pick it up. From 4 to 1, who you got in the NFC East D? Okay, I'm going to start off with the Commanders. I just think Jaden Daniels has a lot to learn. I think they will be around 500, but I think they'll be in third place. I think they're going to show a lot of promise. Um, I think he's going to surprise some people how well he can play professional football. Number three, I've got Dallas. I just don't think the offensive line or the run game are any good. I don't... I can't see Dak replicating what he did last year with no running game. CD Lamb sitting out. I just I, I I can't see it. Number two, I have the Giants, and I think they they are they have probably one of the best front sevens in football. I I do on the defensive side. Their defense is going to keep them in games. Daniel Jones is going to do just enough. To win games, uh, I, I do think Daniel Jones is a good player. I don't think he's worth the money he's getting paid, but I, when he's healthy, I think he is a he's a good quarterback. He's just good. He's nothing special. He's just good. And number one, it's the Eagles, man. It's it's AJ Brown. It's Hurts. It's Barkley. It's Goddard. It's Smith. And the the defense they play well too, um, and I just think it's going to be tough for anybody to knock them off uh, the top. What do you got, Zeke? That's a very bold choice. Very bold choice. Giants in second. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I think their defense. I think their defense is good. I think Burns is going to be legit. I think Dex, Dexter. I just think their their front seven is is very well. I think they're going to play very good defense. Defense isn't the problem. I, I agree with you. Defense isn't the problem. I think so, their defense is going to keep them in games. Yeah. So, for me, talent wise. It's hard not to put the Cowboys in last. Offensively? Yeah, I, I totally understand that. Offensively? They, they're just not there, man. You. They're just not there. I'm not, not going to fight you on that one. No. You got C.D. Lamb. He's not in camp. Right? You have Brandon Cooks. Kevontae Turpin. You have Jalen Ooh. Tolbert. Like, these are your wideouts. Right? So, it just clamp down C.D. Lamb. Make the other guys beat you. Shouldn't be that hard. You you have Ezekiel Elliott, Enrico Dowdle, Royce Freeman, and Deuce Vaughn. Give me Vaughn. And then... You mean Deuce Vaughn, right? right. He's pitching a back, not park. <laughs> and Dak. Dak's got nothing to work with, man. The cupboard is bare. Like, most of that... You're, you're looking at... Yeah, it's just a bare offensive line. You have Deron Bland, that's great in the secondary. You have Trayvon Diggs coming back. Like the secondary's okay. Demarcus Lawrence is still there. Odigizua is still there. Micah Parsons. Like they're gonna like they're going to They're gonna struggle mightily yeah. this year. It's this was a toss up for me between the Giants and the Commies for third. And for me, I like what the commies are doing, right? You have, they brought in Eckler, you have Brian Robinson, you have Jaden Daniels, T- Scary Terry still there, Dotson's still there, you still have Jameson Crowder, like you have players. Zach Ertz is there, he's your tight end. Like you got some guys. Like they have your favorite OC. Oh yeah, of course. That guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, that defense isn't bad, man. You have Bobby Wagner, you got Luvu, Dante Fowler, Jonathan oh, Allen. On. Wagner's Wagner's done, man. He's done. He's done. He can't really think. He really think he's gonna be able to do something. He can be able to do anything. Bobby Wagner still got some gas in the tank. So, and then you you have somebody like Jeremy Chin. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. It boils down to Jaden Daniels. If he falters, who are you going to? 
Marcus Mariota, Jeff Driscoll, Sam Hartman. I would argue you're going to Sam Hartman. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't. Marcus Mariota, no thanks. Jeff Driscoll, <laughs> eh? Yeah, no. So I'm thinking if if Dale if Daniel struggles or gets hurt, they're probably going to see what Hartman has. So I gotta say, Kami's in third because your boy Drew Locke is backing up Daniel Jones. That is what's Love differentiating it. the jo- like the Kami's from the jersey. Giants. So definitely in, definitely getting a Drew Lock jersey. Love as you should, guy. as you should. Mm-hmm. I think that Drew Lock is going to start at least half the season. Wow! I really think that Drew Lock is going to get some burn this year. How many does Devito get? <sighs> Hopefully none. Hope <sighs> if Drew, Lock, if we're down to Devito, shit has gone horrible. I think uh, I think Devito gets two, Lock gets like five, and Daniel get the other. Yes, that's the rest. fair. That's fair. I'm thinking Drew's going to get like nine or ten. I got a feeling he's going to get nine or ten. Because if if Jones doesn't get hurt, he's still not very good. Is he open? (laughs) He's still not very good. Is is he opening though? Is he playing? Yeah, Daniel Jones is going to be the guy. Like he's he's in he's in camp. He's He's the starter. He can play. Right. Okay. And when he shits the bed, he's still recovering. It is it is going to be a very short leash. The bullpen is warm. Because. Yeah, no. He, he's just not that good. I mean, Singletary is no Saquon Barkley, but I think he's going to... He's a, You can do worse. Like, Devin Singletary is a solid player. Neighbors, Slayton, Wandale Robinson. They brought in Allen Robinson. You have Jalen Hyatt. You have Hodgins. Uh, dare I say... Isaiah McKenzie's here. Dare I say the Giants have a good wide receiver core. You have our boy Can you Chris. Say that again in my good year. The Giants have a good wide receiver core, mm. and they're deep. That line, that's the question. You drafted, you mm. drafted Runyon. You excuse me, you brought in Runyon. You brought in uh, Illuminor from the the Raiders. You, you have Greg Van Roten. You have depth on this line now. Evan Neal, please God, just go do something else with your life. So if they can get consistent play from Andrew Thomas, this could be good. The, I'm not concerned about the defense. The defense plays. The defense absolutely plays. I'm with you on that. Okereke, Simmons, Ojolari, Burns. Like you got the, the Giants are on to something. The question is quarterback. And I think Drew Locke is going to take them over the top. But not that far over the top that they surpass the Eagles. Yep. Yeah. So another year, another division title for the Eagles. You figure they're going to figure out the league will figure out how to stop the tush push, right? You, you figure that that is going to be like that's going to be old news at this point. Vita Vea figured that out. Have a, have a big <laughs> fat guy right there in the middle. Have a big fucking nose tackle. There you go. A BMF right there in the middle. Saquon, I don't think he's going to be a factor. Sorry, I don't. So they're still loaded. Even if Saquon has a pedestrian year, Jalen Hurts is still there. Smith and Brown are still there. Goddard's still there. Uzama's there. CJ Uzama's there. So they have depth at the tight end position. And then he's they a waste st- of life, that guy. <laughs> and they still have a decent defense. So mm. it's their division to lose. Stranger things have happened, but stranger things have happened. But I think the Giants are close, but they're not there yet. They're on the right track, but they're not quite there yet. One more for the birds. That's our list. What's yours? Hit us up. FaderoutMail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at FaderoutPodcast or drop us a line on X at FaderoutDNZ and let us know who you got in the NFC East.
Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you liked what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review, rate us five stars, turn on subscription notifications, and share on social media. Tell your friends and spread the word.